This is Sway. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. I'm gonna shave your five. Wake your fuck ass up. Cross your heart. Sway in the morning, shave for five. You know, normally when we do the five reasons why our artist was late, uh, we pretty much shut it down. Right. Um, and so we usually do it because we don't think the artists will actually hear it when they um on their way up. <laughs> oh yeah. The, the smoke this has just arrived, ladies and gentlemen. Give them <laughs> a round of applause. I made it. I made it. I made it. I made it. Hey man, you only uh, n- n- let me see, you only seventy eight minutes late, bro. That's pretty damn good for a black man. Yeah. I mean, you know, look, 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 a black man with three kids, you know what I mean? I They got to go to school. You know, I got different responsibilities before I turn smoke, there's a switch on. But he's on. He's, he's on. Oh, he <laughs> he's do on. the Trump car. You know, hey, what I, you know I'm prepared. You I'm prepared. Say, you can't say nothing about three kids. Exactly. Come on. All right, man. Good, man. My you, twins got to get to school. They got to get to school. You got twins, too? I got twins. Wow. Boy and a girl. How old? Seven. Oh. How old is the third kid? Eleven. Eleven? Yeah, oh, I'm man. in a game. Boy or girl? Boy. Okay, you good. Um, I got a 17 year old girl. Um, different. Yes, different. <laughs> They're different. Smoke Ooh. desert. They I got, different. I got one baby girl. And I hope she stay a baby forever. And that's yeah. Yep. Nah, that, nah, that's my nah. that's my sweetheart. Yeah. So what? Where you, you know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you, you last time you came up here, you had a uh, dream zone achieve. Right. 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 And I haven't. I feel like have I seen you since? Nah. Mm. I think it's been um. I put that out 2014. Yep. Yeah. And like uh, all last year, I was like sidelined, just dealing with family shit. You know what I mean, my okay. dad, my dad was sick, mm-hmm. um, got diabetes, got his leg amputated. Oh. So I, I, that kind of like you know just threw me off from uh-huh. regular rap activities. Of course. You know, so I had to tend to my dad in real life and help my mom out, and you know, still maintain my household. So I was still creative, but I really wasn't in a space to be yeah. promoting anything you mm-hmm. know what i mean so i just sat back i i did my uh my groundwork for my family and um i was still creative as in recording yeah. you know just venting getting my shit off mm-hmm. and um now i'm back he has risen he has risen yeah. how's your pops if you mind me asking oh uh, no nah, he's doing good he's now doing good i mean now? he's still in the nursing home mm-hmm. you know I mean? he's been in that shit all year you know he was in there it's gonna make a year in like two weeks mm-hmm. that he was out the crib but um he about to be out the nursing home soon. Nice. He um nursing nursing the foot that's that's still existing. Okay. And um, you know, he getting ready to uh tackle the world again. That's what's up. Ready for my man to get up out of there already. Yeah, know. man. Did you uh you didn't slide on no, no, no medicinal while he was up in there? Right? Nah, but you no. know, I come there smelling like that, and he be so excited. He be talk, <laughs> he talk to all his people, and they're like, yo, that's my son. That's my son. You smell him? Oh, you my smell God. him? <laughs> <laughs> my pop's one of my best friends, so he, he like always that, man. pick me up. You know, see, you, you never know why a parent might be proud. You you might become president. That might make your parent proud. You, you might get your master's degree. That might make your parent proud. Or you might come in a hospital smelling like cushion. Right. <laughs> 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 you never know. Smelling like loud. He yeah, loved yeah, it. Yeah, he, he loved, he loved it. that. So, all he right, cool. It. So now we back here. And yeah, we, we got back. He Has Risen. Uh, it's a collaborative project that you've done with Harry Fry. Absolutely. Right? Is this a RFC thing? or? Well, um, you know, RFC is the brand. Yeah. I am RFC. Mm-hmm. Really fucking cool for those that don't know what that means. Mm-hmm. And um, But this is a collaborative effort between myself and Harry. Like, I've been on this thing where I just want to be produced. Yeah. You know, I don't really want to work with uh, producers that sending me shit via email. I want it to be hibachi. You know what I mean? Uh, cook that shit up in right front of me. Front of you know what I mean? And, and, I like that. <laughs> and I'm going to cook my shit up while that shit is going, and we're just going to have this original product, like no, pre, no pre-cooked no shit, you mm-hmm. know? So Harry is somebody that knows how to produce me. And, you know, being produced, you have to know how to listen, too. Yeah. Because... Mm-hmm. Producers could lead you in another direction just knowing the sound that you should cater to. So Harry is more so like a motivational, uh, a motivational, motivational mm-hmm. character in my life, too, because he really, like, pushes me to go hard. Like, yo, scratch that. That's not good. Yeah. Or that hook is all right. Nah, you could go harder. Uh-huh. So, I mean, you know, Harry is somebody that's going to push me to do what I got to do, so. Harry's dope, man. Yeah. I love the work he's done with um, French over the years. Chinks, yeah, 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 you know. yeah. 
um, Max B, all these guys. Spitter. Spitter, yeah. right? Currency. Oh, man, they mm-hmm. put together. Um, Cigarette boats. Yeah, man. That, and that's all that is classic. Yeah. You know, yeah. and even the instrumental projects that he's uh, done, mm-hmm. they're all classic. I remember when Dame Dash came up here, <laughs> and you were with him. <laughs> and um, you just let him attack me, smoke this. I didn't nah, understand I mean, what yo, was going look, on right yo, there, when man. Yo, da- when Dame be talking, you just got to let him talk because da- Dame is a talker. But, yeah. um, you know, I ain't have much to say. I was back there looking like I was asleep. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> on purpose. Because <laughs> he going so crazy. I'm like, oh, dude, I ain't trying to be involved Look at this. He was like, oh, what's going on? I was <laughs> right. like, dude, why are you closing your eyes? I just saw your eyes open. <laughs> you just going to let that happen? Uh <laughs> Shout uh, out to Dame, that's uh, my big bro. What's up with Dame, and um, is he a part of this project at all, or how, how's y'all work relationship? Um, well, our work relationship is always solid. I talk mm-hmm. to Dame all the time via FaceTime. Um, Dame is like a mentor. You mm-hmm. know, it's it's bigger than just doing work with him. He doesn't really have a, a hand in this project, but spirit wise, he got a hand in it because yeah. he's gonna call me and tell me what I'm not doing. Mm-hmm. So, um. Dame is a mentor. Yeah, it's more so on some mentor shit more than a working relationship. So, does does he charge you for advice? Um, because I I, I heard somewhere when you you don't you you don't have to confirm or or, or, or dispel, <laughs> but that he charges about a hundred dollars a minute. Oh, uh-uh. yeah, that, that's what I heard. Yeah, that he charges a hundred dollars a minute and allows people they line up and pitches him they'll pitch him for about 15 minutes or something that's that's absolutely true but um, wow. i got a harlem discount you my, get the harlem t- yeah free 99 there you my go shit, you know cash in you can't see <laughs> I like that. Yeah. All right, Smoke Dizzers here, man. Um, we're going to go into this moral song with Snoop Dogg. <laughs> and then you want to talk with Smoke Dizzer, 888-742-3345. Man, some dudes grew up glorifying dudes for snitching. Huh? Fucked up. You don't blame them because you grew up different. I'm telling you. That's, that's um, the song that's called Morals. This is the only feature I believe I heard on the album was with Snoop, right? Yeah, it's the only feature on the, on the whole project. Why Snoop? And, well, why the, that, yeah, why, why not Snoop, really, but, but, but why one? Well, <clears throat> when I thought about this project and when we was working on it, he was the only artist that I really wanted to work with. Yeah. It's like a bucket list kind of thing for me to have him on a project. And I'm like... I want this to be highlighted. I don't even want this to get lost with, with anything else. And if any other artist is going to be on this tape, it has to match the pedigree of mm-hmm. Snoop. And that wasn't the case. So I'm like, you know what? It stands alone. Just you see the project he has risen. You look for the features and you just see Snoop Dogg. And it's like, holy mm-hmm. shit. Snoop Dogg smoke this. Or this is kind of crazy. I bet it's a weed record. Then it's like, <laughs> nope. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I wanted to do something totally opposite because people would expect me to do that from, you know, me being who I am and him being who he is. But it's like. Y'all smoke. you know? Yeah, you yeah. know, we smoke weed. Yeah. But yeah. that's like, you know, we breathe. <laughs> you know, so we, right. we're not going to make a song about breathing, yeah. you know, but so I'm yeah. like, let, let me do something where, <laughs> let me do something where, you know, I could get Snoop Dogg 93 and, and, and have that feeling all over again. Well, when I heard it, I was like, damn, he, he, he sounds good on the, he sounds really refreshed and vitalized on this song. And a lot of that too is Harry Fry's production too and, and your vision. Um did he, was he in the studio though? Was he a hibachi? Nah. <laughs> well, it was hibachi, but I didn't see it. He was, um, he was overseas. Uh, okay. I was talking to him on the phone, um, about Murder Mook. Funny story. Okay. And, um, and I was like, yo, I got this record that I, I really want you to get on. It'll be an honor. Ah, uh, the whole spiel. He like, man, come on, nephew. Just send it to me. He gave me the email. Mm. And then the next day, I'm driving back from fucking Coco Keys with my family, mm-hmm. and I get a text from Snoop, like, check your email. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I'm like, God, Immediately. Damn. You know, I'm waiting for, I'm still waiting on certain niggas that's not even at his level to send me shit back. And damn, Snoop like, who? Cool. <laughs> 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 what you waiting on, Smoke Dizzle? We're going to get at him right now. <laughs> nah, I ain't even going to do that to him. He's going to be mad with me. But, um, yeah, he sent that shit back the next day, and I was so hyped. 
real quick, mor- morals comes after a song, the plot, right? The plot. All right, and that, so and they 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 go hand in hand. Yeah, yeah. Okay, they, so they're kind of like in sync. The okay. plot is like um, the plot is the plot is the beginning of a whole bunch of situations that maybe occurred or they didn't occur, and I wanted to just put it all in one story, and then morals is like the continuation of the plot. So you kind of got to listen to the plot to understand why I even have morals on the tape, and so why I even have Snoop. You know, giving me the cosign for That's my good. idea. I like Smoke that. Smoke is here. Uh, he has risen as a project. You know what I'm always interested in? Not just the art side of hip hop, but the business side as well. Right. So I wanted to see if maybe you can um, fact check something. Are you still with Cinematic? Well, uh, yeah. I mean, I helped build that building. You know, so Johnny Shipes is my brother. That's mm-hmm. the, you know. That's that's my family. So regardless whether I'm in contractually or verbally, I'm in. It's, okay. It's blood in, blood out. Gotcha. So I'm all the way in with that. But contractually, I'm RFC. I'm smoke dizzer RFC. Makes that's sense. My circle. <laughs> the reason why I brought it up, because um, Joey Badass is still a cinematic. Absolutely. And um, I don't know if you saw yesterday how him was on and Troy. Okay. Oh, you yeah. were? Yeah. Okay, so when Troy put out his record, Badass, and he mentioned something about how Johnny Shipes gets 50%. Yeah. And I didn't know if that's how contractually how it works. Well, I don't know what, what Joey's deal is like, but I yeah. know Joey, as an artist, is seeing a lot of his proceeds for, for his music. So, I mean, you know, unless you know his lawyer, then you can't really speak on his contractual obligations or whatever he got into. <coughs> mm-hmm. Because... um. You know, it's other aspects that come into the situation other than just a record deal. You know, they do, niggas got merch, and niggas go on tour. So it's like, you know, it's different things. Cinematic isn't ran by a major. So it's not a 360 deal where it's like, you know, this is not some traditional shit. So right. I can't speak of Joey's situation, but I do know that I don't, I don't believe it's that. Okay. You know? I so, think he says 80-20 yeah. is the split in the ready record. I think he said he might get an 80-20 split. If that's what he said, then that's what it is, because he's very factual with his shit. So, mm-hmm. What did he think of the... Well, what was the reaction to the record, the badass record? We laughed. I thought it was... Um, I think it's good for the sport, mm-hmm. personally. You know, a lot of people might take offense to the line. About Capital City. Yeah, yeah, but you know, it's been worse said in, in hip-hop. Mm-hmm. Huh. So, I mean... you. We at the age and the era where everybody kumbaya and fuck that kumbaya shit. Huh. You know, so if, if it got to be like that, then it got to be like that. <clears throat> and, you know, everybody feel like they, you know, Joey, niggas is nice. Joey like, understands that, though. Joey, no. Joey is seasoned and groomed. Mm-hmm. And he has a lot of big homies that give him great advice. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> very interesting. War so Tribunal. Yeah, so, so he's very good. Would your advice to him be to put out another record? I won't disclose what my advice to him is, but I will say that for the sake of the sport, you got to play the game. Mm. So we're going to see. Roll the dice. This this did did a straight up Don King move right right there. I have to respect it. All right, we got (laughs) Jonah Jonah Lyon from Boston. Say what up to Smoke Dizzle. What up, man? Yo, yo, big fan, Dizza. I've uh, seen you in Boston a few times. Sweat. Middle Dizza, East. Dizza, what was that? Dizza, Dizza. Where, where, where we at in Boston? Middle East? Uh, well, I'm actually from South Shore, Boston. All right, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, just a huge fan. I got a spot for you and Spitter and Harry Frog backstage in my daily playlist. Uh, the stage. First flight, that's my shit. Oh, man, um, that's love. And I just got to say, I'm, I'm anticipating a collab with you and Westside Gun and Fraud. I think that would go real good. Yeah, you might have to put that in the universe. That might be in the universe. Get that going. I right, keep up the good work, man. All right, hey, brother. All right, man. Make make sure you get that. He has risen as well. Hey, um, I was gonna play this hundred K joint, um, but you know because you was late, man. I was gonna, you know, <laughs> I thought I'd just throw it out there without even warning you, man. We got this thing we do. Mm. You been up here before, you know. I like oh, MCs God. to spit. We gonna do that again? Five yeah. fingers to death. I thought I beat that already. Let's go, man. Come on, smoke. Oh, oh man. man. You are now entering the five <laughs> fingers of death. DJ Wonder plays five unique beats meant to test your lyrical stamina. I saw the look in his eyes. This guy is crazy. Many have tried. I'm the best. 
This is just another chance for me to prove it. But many have failed. You need some hip hop. <laughs> it's the five fingers of death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He has risen, ladies and gentlemen. Smoke this. I didn't prepare him for this one, but I was I know, not ready. You not ready, but to have fun with it, then, man. Tell Dame Dash. I said, what up, man? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sway in the morning. Shade four five. The five stands for five fingers of death for the true MCs. Uh, all right, let me see what I got, Sway. God damn. Yeah, I, I don't. Shit, I wasn't thinking I would have had my shit together. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, let me see what it. I got. Let me see what I got. All right, cool. The Harry Fraud. Uh, fuck it, everybody trash. I'm worldwide, you keep the ab. Got New York in the bag, international not to brag. Huh? Sarcastic laugh, cause it ain't shit funny about Australia tax. Right, McAllen in the glass. Sip slow, make it last. Blowing on herb, I hardly party. Most of them niggas is nerds, and they fucking dress codes be absurd. I be in tears, the normal nigga shit, they look at me weird. Road gang, I ain't supposed to be here. Let that sink in. Had crack, I'm a dice shaker. Lower homie fucked up some work spaz, don't him know I was light paper. No remorse, that's how life made us. You let him slide once, and he think he a ice skater. Your life a fraud, you a straight up bitch. Niggas need Revlon deals, how they make up shit. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> beat number three. Uh, this beat number three. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, it's like road game. I wasn't supposed to be here. Let that sink in. Uh. Nigga, you broke, with your excuse? The highest weed infused, making every moment minuscule. Your hustle is minuscule. You're a gump, nigga, you been a fool. Fake Jews, you know you can't wear them shits in the pool. Fools go to... Uh, fake him, Jews, you know you can't wear them joints in the pool. Fools go to like A-Track special, nigga, I'm way past the A-Class level. Love under the rock, shit, got a late pass, I'm way past settle. Take a seat, have several. Put you in your place, who better to? Stay off my genital. Get a frown me with the clown biz. Clown niggas marry clown. Clown bitches have clown kids, they all in the circus. I don't care about none of your Jordans and none of your Birkins. Count out how many rappers and how many working. I'm off to Paris, I'm to the bags with a bellboy status, you heard? Uh, I ain't worried about a thing. You could duplicate the crown, but you could never be the king. Uh, smoke king. this and one more beat, one more beat. I'm putting you to work today, uh, baby. I need this. Uh huh, uh. Five right, niggas of death 2016. Uh uh. uh, uh. uh. Come up we'll, here we'll if you ain't at, ready. We'll Smoke this is ready. On point. Sway in the morning. Ah. Uh, uh, all right. Let me get. Let me get together. Wait. 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 wait, wait. Hold on. All right. Uh, uh, on all right. We're gonna cruise for a second. We're gonna. Yeah. We're on a blunt cruise, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. Mr. Kush God Smoke okay. Dizza. Uh -huh. He has risen this Friday. That's right. Uh huh. That's right. That's right. All right. Uh, uh, RFC. Uh, RFC. I twist backwards and smoke Dutchies. You can't touch me. Kush God. None above me. You just custy. Worker. Unlucky. Unworthy. Whole family of little niggas. Your pops pump for me. This for my West Indians twisting gunja tree. Got to gunja. Oh, I can't do it. Smoke. Look, man. Dizza. It's nah, early. man, it's, you killed it's early. that. Hold it's up. early. It's too. Yo, it's too hey. early for this shit. No, it ain't. Um, you look, know what man, it ain't. I'm fresh. I'm fresh out of PS 127. Okay, you know what I mean. Dropping off I, the it's kids. Too, it's too early for this shit. No, it ain't. You know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not buying that. You've done it before. You killed it too. Up until that I was, moment, you I was ready it. from before. This yeah, time yeah. I wasn't ready. Nah, I was like, oh no, nah, he's not gonna make me rap. I beat that shit already. Why you going? But your ain't ready is better than those who get ready. Oh yeah, I mean, it's gonna. My imperfections is always gonna be better than. I, we need you. But, you know the game needs you. Yeah, I mean, I kind of, I kind of noticed that. That's why you know he has risen. He's yeah, back. He has risen, man. Pick it up because He's if back. you they see you in here working hard, being who you are, you know they get inspired to do it the same. These MCs are lazy. I don't care what they say, what they think. No, oh, they way always trying to make us rap. <laughs> No, nah, I mean, I'm you're a, supposed, rapper. a rapper is supposed to it's rap. Like, yo, that's like Steph Curry getting pissed because we want him to shoot. Right. Shoot the ball, Steph. Oh, man, Sway want me to shoot the three. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Steph going to shoot See, the I three. See, I ain't bitching. I ain't bitching. That's I what just, I love about I just about ain't you. have my portions ready. Yeah, that's why I for love the portions. you. Okay, Smoke this a true MC. My brother. All right, and let me say something, man. I really enjoyed your project because um, it's refreshing and you know, a lot of folks are putting out a lot of monotonous material where the first song sounds like every song to the last song. And if you guys really want to, it's a conceptual project. And if you want to take a journey where you put in a project and from the first song to the last song, you feel like you went somewhere. You don't feel stagnant. And, you know, you're not hearing the same thing over and over. It's a great trajectory. It's a great arc. 
in this project, and I want to congratulate you and Harry Fry for what you put together, man. Thank you so There's much. There's been a few people who have done really well collaboratively. I like what Static Selector and King Crooked, that, that what they have done, too. Or Run the Jewels, I like what they've done, too. I like what you guys are doing. That means uh, a lot coming right. from you, bro. Uh, for real. I'm only truth this year. If I don't say it's anything, only truth all year all from year. you every yeah. year, so I don't I don't know it to not be the truth. Well, sometimes I just don't say nothing. I mean, sometimes so- I feel like I'm lying because <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. <laughs> fuck it. They're gonna well, do to me. It. We need you, Sway. Nah, you know man, we need, need you. Man. We need you. We need you. So. Hey, you do you get a discount from Dane for me if I want to talk with? <laughs> you know he ain't gonna charge you. Okay, that's he my ain't homie. Charge you? That's that's the homie. All you right. Know? He gonna give you a speech before he give you the speech. Oh yeah, yeah. I love his but, speeches. Yeah. yeah. Tell my homie I said what up, man. We'll do. All right. Hey, smoke dizzy, y'all. All right. All right. This is hundred K right here. Sway in the morning. We got celebrity wire up next. Yup, and Cat Williams. He's coming for Kevin yeah. Hart. Shay four five. It's Sway in the morning only on Shay forty five.